Hello and welcome to this week's EFT tapping video. And this week we are doing tapping for self-love. Now this is very important <laughs> because if we don't love ourselves, we don't have the capacity to give love to others. And it may feel a bit counterintuitive, it may feel a bit selfish, but today, if possible, Put all that aside and just focus on you and let's start by cultivating some more love towards ourselves even if you don't believe it and we'll tap through all of that as well because that's the good thing about EFT that it's not just about um, the say in the positive stuff we can say the negative stuff as well because what happens it then releases emotional blockages in in the body and this is all backed up by science there's information out there dr peter stapleton has done a little research on this and if you're new to tapping then if you check in the description below this video there is a link to where i go through all the tapping points but all you have to do really is just follow along and repeat after me and replace anything I say with your own words if that feels more true for you. And if you're if this is your first time here, please subscribe and follow and do all the things you need to do. And if you you enjoy my uh, meditations and EFT videos, then please support my work and buy me a cup of tea because that helps me to help and to reach more people. So, so, just start by um, by grounding yourself and making sure all distractions are turned off. This will probably last between five and ten minutes, so it's not very long. Take some deep breaths. If you want, you can roll your shoulders and your neck and just free up anything that's stuck where you're holding on to tension because we can hold a lot of tension in our shoulders and in our jaw give it a little massage and take some deep breaths and feeling the ground beneath you whether you're standing or sitting but making sure that it's best if your your back is upright and that you're if you are sitting that your legs are uncrossed and both feet are on the floor if that's possible for you and then close your eyes and just check in and see how much love are you feeling to for yourself today this is purely subjective and if you feel that you could really do with a bit more love, then that will be higher on the scale. And if you feel like, oh, you completely love yourself, there's no parts of you that you dislike, then that will be a zero. So on a scale from zero to ten. And this is just to help you see whether anything has shifted after we've done the tapping and uh, a disclaimer this is not meant to be a substitute for psychotherapy or any medical advice it can help you um, may regulate your emotions but if you if you're experiencing trauma or you know mental health issues then please also go and see a professional so when you're ready start by tapping on the side of the hand it doesn't matter which side you do it on the three fingers and even in the setup statements we start by acknowledging that we love ourselves even if you don't believe it just say it anyway so repeat after me or replace with your own words as you as feels appropriate for you Even though I often put myself last and forget to love myself, 
deep down, I know I do deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though the thought of loving myself seems weird, I'm going to let that go for now and choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though loving myself can be hard, I'm working on changing that. And for now, I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself. So go to the eyebrow point. I feel selfish to love myself. Side of the eye. As a child, I was told it was bad to love yourself. Under the eye. That I should put myself last all the time. that it was selfish to think of myself before others. Chin. That I'm not worthy of love. Collarbone. I don't deserve it. Under the arm. Who am I to love myself? Top of the head. I really don't know how I can ever love myself. Eyebrow point. Even though I said those things at the beginning that I love and accept myself. side of the eye. I don't really believe it deep down. Under the eye. In fact, I often despise myself. Under the nose. For the hurt that I've caused to other people. In, and all the mistakes that I've made in my life. Collarbone. I really have no reason to love myself. Under the arm. There's nothing really about me to love. top of the head. I'm not lovable at all. Eyebrow point. Even though I have people who say they love me, side of the eye, I don't think they really mean it. Under the eye. I mean, how could they love me? after everything I've done. Under the nose. I still blame myself for those past mistakes. Chin. I really should have known better. Collarbone. 
So how on earth can I love myself with all that hanging over me? Under the arm. I'm right not to love myself. Top of the head. There is nothing about me that is worth loving at all. Eyebrow point. And so my inner talk carries on criticising me. Side of the eye, judging me. Under the, under the eye. But is that really a good way to talk to myself? Under the nose. Would I talk to a friend like that? Chin. Maybe I could start being a bit friendlier towards myself as well. Collarbone. Because nobody's perfect. Under the arm. I don't expect my friends to be perfect and I still love them. So why can't I love myself the same way? Eyebrow point. Yes, I've made mistakes and I've hurt people. Side of the eye. And I acknowledge that. Under the eyes. But hopefully I've learned from my mistakes. Under the nose. I was younger and not as wise then. Under the chin. So loving myself also means having compassion for myself. So I forgive myself for all my past mistakes. Under the arm. And now I'm becoming a better person. Top of the head. So for that reason alone, I'm worthy of love. So even if I can't love all of myself, side of the eye, if that feels a bit too difficult right now, under the nose, I'm committed to loving that part of me that is striving to become a better person. That part of me that wants to be kinder and more loving. Collarbone. And that includes loving myself and being kinder to myself as well as others. So if loving myself Completely feels a bit overwhelming. Top of the head. I'm going to start by loving myself for trying to become a better person. And that will do for now. Stop tapping. Take a deep breath. And on 
a scale of 0 to 10. Notice where you are now, where 0 is that you completely love yourself. There's nothing getting in the way of feeling love and kindness toward yourself. And 10 is like there's nothing that you can find lovable. And hopefully that's gone down a little bit. You can always come back and do this again. You might have felt emotions coming up. I certainly did. And, and that's normal. And it's good when that happens because it shows that they're shifting. And if you cry, even better. It's all being released, all that stuff that's stuck inside and that's getting in the way of you loving yourself. And as you tap on one area, you might notice as well that the, the other things start to shift in your life and you notice positive changes there too. And of course you can always come back and do and do this again. So thank you for joining me today and I will be back very soon. But in the meantime, take care of yourself and go well and lots of love.